Brown Sugar Corporation sells baking supplies to foodies over the internet. The company's largest selling product is Louisiana Hot Brown Sugar. Louisiana Hot is purchased for eight dollars per pound, and orders take two weeks to be delivered. Brown Sugar wants you to determine the optimal order size of Louisiana Hot given the weekly demand of two hundred pounds, inbound freight costs of one hundred seventy dollars, labor costs of fifteen dollars per hour with one hour labor required, a $5 internet processing fee, $10 charge for employee benefits. The inventory on the shelf is financed with a working cost of, of, cost of capital at 15% of the inventory value and a 10% overhead rate to pay warehouse costs. In addition, the president, Mr. Yager, has asked you for the total cost annual average inventory the number of orders that will be placed in one year, the order cycle time, a T cycle, how long each order will last, and the reorder point. As an internet based company, Brown Sugar is open 24 7, 365. Uh, just as before, uh, you saw for total costs the same exact way by adding holding costs and ordering costs, and so that's why you see these two numbers as being the same. So that's the same as before. <laughs> To find the average inventory, um, it's much like you find the average of any two numbers. You add the two numbers together and divide by two to get, like, to get the average. Uh, with EOQ, uh, so it's a little bit more simple than that. We add, like, we add from zero, we add Q uh, from zero and just divide that by two or just Q divided by two. And that gives us our average quantity. If Mr. Jagger wants to find out the number of orders per year, uh, number of orders being indicated by N, he takes annual demand, or D, and divides that by Q, as indicated by this, and we get 7.21. Uh, how, how will each order last? Uh, T cycle, which is your time between orders, is number of work days divided by N, which we just found. Number of work days, and in this example, is 365 days divided by the 7.21 we just found, or N, and that gives us our T-cycle time of 50.62 days. Reorder point equals lead time, which is the amount of time it takes to ship ship products, multiplied by daily demand, indicated by small d, uh, where the small d equals annual demand, or big D, divided by 365, and that gives us, in this instance, 28.29. Lead time is given to us as two weeks or 14 days. It's important to put it as 14 days. We have to keep our units matched up, and in the last example, we did it in days, so this lead time also has to be in days. Um, so to order to calculate the reorder point, we take the 14 days and multiply that by the 28.5, and that gives us 399 pounds, which is the level, when we get down to that level, it's time to reorder. <laughs>